A 29-year-old French woman had been living as a quadruple amputee for nearly 10 years, using her prosthetic limbs for daily life. But following the advances in the field, she started considering hand transplantation. She was unable to have this surgery in France, but she did get listed in the USA as an international transplantation candidate. Surgeons at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia accepted the case. Hand transplantation requires intricate coordination of multiple teams. It's hard enough when the patient, the surgeon, and the donated organ are all from the same place. To help this woman, these plastic surgeons attempted something that had never been done before, a transatlantic double hand transplantation. Amazing. They had to develop precise travel scenarios down to the minute from the moment the limbs became available in the United States. The patient needed to arrive in Philadelphia within 24 hours. They had to create 3D anatomic models of the woman's forearms to help prepare the team. Assemble a team of over 30 anesthesiologists, orthopedic and plastic surgeons, nurses and staff in Philadelphia. Hold multiple surgical rehearsals, and then one night the Philadelphia team got a call. There was a match for two donated hands and forearms. The woman immediately set off for 18 hours of travel to get from France to Philly. The 30 plus surgeons were mobilized, anesthesia was administered, the surgical teams began their work. Nine hours later, the first reported transatlantic bilateral hand transplant surgery was completed successfully. Within eight months, the woman was already showing good and still improving motor function and sensitivity with her new hands. This new PRS study demonstrates the great lengths plastic surgeons take to improve our patients' lives and to provide great hope to people whose local healthcare systems cannot support the complex transplantation surgeries they need.